Crossroads Media. <laughs> Did you all see? Did you all see what happened with Trey Turner? That was unreal! That was so ridiculous! The home run to take the lead, the curtain call! Oh my lord, was that not the greatest reaction in a, in a sports situation that we have had in a long time. That was outrageous. And I'm not even going to dive deep into the civil war that was the Phillies fan base because half the people hated it. Half the people said it wasn't authentic. It was. And all that matters is Trey Turner bottled it and used it the way he needed to to become Trey Turner. Seriously, I really, and I'm not being an asshole here, I'm just being 100 with you, I don't give a damn how you feel about this message as a fan base. I don't care if you think that we're using national media attention wanting to change the narrative. It's irrelevant. All that matters is whatever happened. And yes, in my eyes, I see a cause and an effect. I think that there was so much value in giving Trey Turner that time to remind him why we are the best, why we love you. It's just that simple. We don't have to overcomplicate anything. And for all the ones that think, well, it's sort of ironic because you're booing Aaron Nola in game one when he sucks and we'll get there. And you're also freaking out at Kyle Schwarber. Wait till I get to the Anytime Hotline text board. There's something that we have to go over in regards to Kyle Schwarber. Ooh, it seems so hypocritical. Here's the difference, all right? There's a such thing about timing. And you read the room. When we are aggravated and we're bothered and you're not giving us good enough baseball, like majority of the season for Trey, you're going to have it. You will hear us as you're walking back to the dugout after another 0-2 swing and miss in the dirt. It's bases loaded. Can the Phillies steal one? Can the Phillies finally answer the bell? They need a response. Trey Turner strikes out swinging at cheese. That's almost touching his chin. Innings over. Phillies only score one, but they should have scored six. That Trey Turner, he got the response that he deserved at the time from March on. When it hits the lower levels, or when, when it hits the, uh, the, the, the lowest points in your career, it's not time for that. Tyrone used this as the example. And I'm pretty upset that we didn't get a chance to work when that was the hot topic together because it would have been super fun to go back and forth because I was heavily, heavily rooting for Trey to get the support. Now, Ty said it's like a kid, a student, your son, your daughter, getting a C or a D plus, really, I guess it's more like an F if I'm, if I'm being honest, uh, getting an F and you rewarding that child with candy. Or here's a cake. I know you haven't been doing what I asked. I know you haven't been doing what I needed you to do. But anyway, you'll get a free pass and I'll get you a Hershey bar. Here would be my counter to that, though. The difference in this is your son, your daughter is giving everything they have. They're trying as hard as possible. They're studying three hours a night before they go to bed, and that's after, in the morning, they put four hours together and, and, and tried to gain that knowledge and remember that information. And then when the test comes, they're struggling. But it's not for a lack of effort. It's not for a lack of preparation. It's not for a lack of putting in the time. Your son or your daughter is in a heavy funk school-wise, but they're doing everything in their power to succeed. That's where I see the difference. And yeah, I know, Aaron Ola tries. The ball just gets crushed and goes over the fence way too many times. And Schwarber, when he strikes out, and he goes for a 0 for 16 stretch, 0 for 17 stretch, it just continues to bleed until, I don't know, the threat that he is nukes a bomb. Say what you will about it. it's Kansas City, it's the Royals, they have a ton of losses. I know. 
They are terrible. They are a bad baseball team. You just have to win your series, though. And just like with Turner, it doesn't matter who it's against. Everyone gets out of a slump at some point, and it takes an at-bat. So I don't care if it's off Max Scherzer in his prime. I don't care if it's Nolan Ryan in his prime. I don't care if it's me. I don't care if it's batting practice. If it's one of your own guys, whatever it is, there's an at-bat that happens before a slump is destroyed and you start to be an awesome hitter and you start to put the ball in play and use your speed to your advantage. So ultimately, another series where the main takeaway is Trey Turner, it's just a complete 180. The last time we spoke, it wasn't really about what they did in the series. It's we have a Trey Turner problem. Now, I I was seriously sitting there when they were down on Sunday and when Taiwan Walker does start to get shelled. And when Trey Turner pops off the way that he does, even though it would kill me and I would be pissed, trust me, and I'd let you know, but on the Broad scale, right, because the Broad scale isn't the same as every scale out there. We all have our personal versions of it. It would be a, a lower number than maybe anticipated when losing a series to a disaster Kansas City team. But if Trey Turner was becoming Trey Turner, that's a bigger story and a more important thing. I would sacrifice a series that you lose that you probably shouldn't for a Trey to be a demon. For pitchers to be afraid of him. For a double to clear the bases. In a harpy. He's starting to remember. He's getting it back. It's like that show Raven. When you got the vision and she looked off into the distance and it zoomed in on the eyes. He saw himself on this weekend giving the standing ovation and knew that it would be a time again where he would play baseball very well and at a high level. And today's the day. The calendar finally flipped to the day. And yes, 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 what the fans did happened to play a role with Trey Turner. His mom's crying because she thinks that it's so awesome what we did. This wasn't fake just to satisfy national media. I promise you that. We didn't rally together because of trying to change a snowball narrative because of Colin Coward. It was a thousand percent. A thousand percent. And you can't get more than a thousand percent. All about the relationship with Trey acknowledging he needed us. He needed us. There's a lot to be said about coming to town, coming to this city with this type of passion and having one of the worst seasons you ever have, ever, ever, ever. He's never played worse baseball in his entire life, overthinking every aspect and every detail of the game. We believe in you. You're one of us. You're going to be here for a long time, and we know you're special. We got you. We got you. It's not about Stephen A. Smith and first take. I guarantee you it came from the right place.